Somebody once said you wouldn't get fat on the mistakes she makes. You know, she runs a very tight operation. Um, they're very well managed in England and Ireland. And we trainers, we're very lucky to get them. And uh, I've been lucky to have three multiple Group 1 winners uh, from the same family. So, how lucky can you be? Well, Alpinista represents a great continuity for the Stud, first of all. Um, she's my fifth generation here on the Stud and my fourth homebred generation. So that is, uh, I must say, fantastically rewarding to see the result of many years' work and patience to be uh, crowned by such a wonderful race mare. Well, Al Albanova was granny, and uh, she won the same three group ones in Germany when she was five, that Albanista won when she was, was four. So it was extraordinary, really, that they should have won the same three. Um, and she's been a great group broodmare, but this filly would be better. Um, she's a better racehorse. Of course, Alborada was the aunt, so I've been enormously lucky to have all three of them, you know, how lucky can you be? Well, uh, Frankel as a sire and indeed as a racehorse, uh, your viewers will know he was unbeaten in all his races and voted a great champion, um, correctly so. Uh, he has since, if anything, possibly exceeded expectations as a sire. He's a fantastic sire with worldwide success, having sired classic winners on various continents, including in Japan. And, um, you know, it's a tremendous asset for the British thoroughbred industry to see Frankel standing here, all thanks to Jadmonta Farms and the late uh, Prince Khalid Abdullah, who bred and raced the horse. Um, to let the horse remain in Britain, where he is unquestionably the best stallion in the world, alive at present. Possibly others would dispute that, but uh, that's my personal opinion.